Here we are again, scrolling through YouTube, ignoring life. You've got more important things to get done, but hey, it can wait, right? You don't need to do it right now. You can just carry on with your latest dopamine binge fest. And the thing is, I think you know the truth. You know the answer to the title of this video already. You really don't need another self-help hack from a YouTube video, because guess what? You already know, don't you? You know the answer. So let me be completely real with you. Why are you here? What are you expecting to learn that you think is gonna change your life? Because it's not new information, that's not going to change your life. It's new intention and commitment, that's it. The problem is that you're not being as resourceful as you could. You're focused, but you're not organized. And in the end, you get overwhelmed with all the things you have to do on your to-do list and playing video games, scrolling through TikTok or Instagram is just easier. The truth is, the algorithm wins and you lose. You already know collecting more ideas isn't the answer. You already know applying what you know is the answer. So why, 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 oh why, don't you stick to things? Keep watching because I'm going to share the graph that explains why, the five common reasons that make it worse, and then a truly unbelievable free offer that I've never shared with you before. The first reason why we don't stick to things is because we give ourselves a way out. You ultimately know that when you have a deadline and you have something to get done, you get it done. Maybe not perfectly and to the standard you could have, but you get it done. But only when you reach the point of no return, the deadline is tomorrow, you have no choice but to do it. That Ulysses tying himself to the mast of his ship, you have no way out. So stop doing that to yourself. Find a way to truly commit to whatever habit, project, idea that you really care about and make it so strong that you have no way out. Dive right in and set up so much accountability that you can't fail. I once spent an entire year making daily videos on this channel because I gave a friend of mine a thousand pounds to stick to it for as long as possible. And when you do something like that and you put your neck on the line like that, it brings you to life, it brings you to focus because everything else becomes background noise against the thing that truly matters. And when you show up with that kind of presence and that kind of focus, nothing can stop you. The second reason we don't stick to things is because your brain has a fault, a bias towards right now, towards choosing immediate reward right now rather than seeking delayed gratification. We embrace the presence of today over the promise of what may or may not come tomorrow. And the reason I stress this isn't because I want you to feel bad or like you as a person are wrong, but because I want you to really heed my warning that this mechanism, this brain that we all live with, it comes with a few faults. It comes with this faulty wiring and our brains have a proven tendency towards what's known as hyperbolic discounting. As you can see on screen here, this information is not anything legendary or anything new or groundbreaking, but now you know it, what are you gonna do with that? How are you gonna approach your life? How are you going to adapt? I want you to accept that your brain has a fault, a weakness that has been hacked for someone else's profit. So what will you do now? I want you to accept that the problems you encounter, they aren't out there somewhere. They lay in here. And it starts by taking total and absolute personal responsibility for what happens in our lives, what thoughts, words, and behaviors we repeat over and over again. Because like I said, you have a bias towards right now, not tomorrow, but right now. So you've got to set up something to counter that, to accept that you're living life with a default disadvantage and to overcome it, you've got to create countermeasures that you stick to. The third reason why you don't stick to things is because, and I'm so guilty of this too, is because we run from discomfort. We run from anything that is uncertain and straight into the arms 
of temptation. How much easier is it to sit and watch Attack on Titan or Suits or Game of Thrones or any other endless amounts of incredibly well-written, beautifully produced and ultimately distracting shows? When I have to sit down to complete something that is uncomfortable, it is so much easier to avoid that discomfort entirely and do something easy. Maybe you're doing it to relax. Maybe you are going to get to that task. But the problem is when we consistently avoid doing the things that we really know we should, we train and reward our brains to avoid discomfort. So over time, the moment you encounter something uncomfortable but potentially rewarding in your life, we avoid it. It becomes a habit and that avoidant behavior becomes a pre-programmed loop, a self-fulfilling prophecy that we create over and over and over until we're wondering, where did my day go? and Why am I so lazy? It doesn't happen by chance. It's happening by design. The fourth reason that you avoid sticking to things is because you rationalize, and make yourself feel better. And I'll be honest, this is one I really struggle with because on one hand, I really do want to push myself and work to the highest level. But I also want to avoid doing it in a toxic and harmful way. I want to be self-compassionate. I want to be validated. I want my emotions to be validated. But what I'm talking about here is the kind of rationalization where you say to yourself, hey, you know what? It's okay to avoid this task. It's okay to be irritated because you didn't do anything wrong. They did the wrong. It's okay to cut this corner here because you're not hurting or harming anyone. And the problem is we get used to self-sabotage and all of those one more game won't hurt. You can get away with it. All these stories that we tell ourselves, these false thoughts that we buy completely into, they take us away from the very best version of ourselves. And ultimately, I think the truth is we lose faith in ourselves. We start to really believe that, hey, you know what? I don't stick to things. I am a procrastinator. I can't achieve that goal. And that default pattern, it becomes something even more damaging, an identity. Now, the fifth and final reason, the one that is the most important reason is blank. No, literally, I'm leaving it blank because right now I'm talking to a camera in a room somewhere and I don't know you personally. So I want you to decide. I want you to share it right now in the comments. I want you to be uncomfortable. I want you to lean into writing this stupid random YouTube comment that may feel totally pointless or whatever, because that's the point. You can change and it starts with one small step. So you tell me what is the fifth and final reason why you don't stick to things? What is it? that truly stops you. Honestly, I don't care if you subscribe, I don't care if you like or share this video because I just want this to be the day you wrote, not just a YouTube comment, but a massive meaningful list of essays and insights and honesty in answer to this question that, damn man, the truth really is, I don't stick to things because I'm just confused and overwhelmed. I've lived my life in the safety of the shadows and sidelines for too long and it's made me soft. And that moment of honesty and leaning in, if you choose to meet me in it right here, right now, if I can play a small part in that, then I'll say that's a win for me. I don't need you to subscribe or like the video because at the end of the day, that's what we both came here for, isn't it? I chose this video in this title because like you, I was almost about to not stick to the deadline I set for myself for this video. But my good friends at Skillshare gave me that little extra nudge and accountability of having no way out and to just get the video done. So special thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people just like you and me. 
It's a great place for you to explore new skills, deepen your existing passions, and get lost in creativity. I've recently uploaded my very first class onto Skillshare called Inner Compass, which some of you have heard me mention before. And now I'm really excited to say for the first time ever, you can access it for free on Skillshare if you sign up for a trial. Inner Compass is a six module course that helps you discover how to feel less lost, stuck and lazy in life and far more calm, focused and purpose-filled. So every day you wake up energized and raring to go with passion and energy. It features six modules on everything from how to set goals and a vision, how to be mindful and how to meditate, how to build good habits that stick, how to stop procrastinating and the kind of procrastinator you are, and how to make a difference and leave your mark in the world. So if you wanna check out my Inner Compass course and you wanna check it out for free, and you've heard me talk about it before, but you couldn't afford it for whatever reason, or you weren't sure, now is your chance to try it out for free because the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description will get a free trial of a premium membership. So you can explore courses like mine and more that are ad-free and empower you to go wherever your creativity leads you. Click over here to watch more videos like this, including my free courses on YouTube. Here's one called Limitless. And make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.